Joining us on the Heaster Automotive Group hotline here on the OG is Delaney Graham. I think when I was younger, ideally, I was like, oh, yeah, like, I want to be a pop star when I grow up. And then when I got here, I was like, okay, like, I'm not doing voice lessons anymore. There's no choir for me to join. So I was like, I have to do something so that I can keep singing because it's special to me. It is Delaney Graham. Delaney, thanks so much for joining us. Of course. Thank you for having me. My parents had always been pushing me. They were like, you need to join an acapella group. In hindsight, I'm very glad that I did because I think I would have just had a big disconnect with music had I not. Just like any other little one, she used to sing with, you know, the little TV shows that she used to watch. And she sounded cute, but she was little, so I don't think she thought anything of it. We didn't think anything of it. And then she got to be more elementary school age. We would hear her singing either something from a TV show or something she heard on the radio, and we'd look at each other and think, wow, like, she actually sounds good. At first, she was so shy that if you asked her to sing, she'd want to, like, go into a corner and not look at anybody while she was doing it. We tried to encourage her that if she liked singing, it would be a nice idea for her to maybe do it with a choir at school, or she wanted to sing at church, or you know, somewhere where she might be able to start getting some experience and not be so shy about it. At some point during my childhood years, I started doing musicals. Um, I was always in choir, like in elementary and middle school, and um, once I started doing musicals, I realized that like I really, really loved it. I think my very first musical was when I was in fourth grade. I did Beauty and the Beast, and I was Belle. Here goes the baker with his tray, like there's something sweet and almost kind. And I think that was my, my like really first time singing in front of people. And for once it might be grand to have someone understand. I think that if I hadn't been so committed to soccer, that would have been something I may have like followed um, more seriously. She kind of blossomed. The more she sang, the more she felt comfortable singing. Oh, I auditioned for the X Factor when I was like in seventh grade. I like got all dressed up and made, I like never worn makeup in my life. <laughs> Um, and it didn't necessarily go very well, but and then of course like I walked out and I sobbed to my mom for like hours after that but, like, Looking back on it not a big deal, but after that I started taking voice lessons with a really neat lady her name is Erin Shepard and She taught Delaney so much about sort of the mechanics of singing and she just improved like by leaps and bounds <laughs> point where I could not believe it. I don't have a good voice. I can't match pitch to save my life. You know, a lot of people, I guess, just who don't know that she has that talent or that she likes to do that, I think they're just amazed when they hear her. Because they're like, wait a minute, doesn't she play soccer? And I'm like, yeah. Like, but she sings like that. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> She just really enjoyed it, but she also really enjoyed soccer. I realized that soccer was something I loved more that I wanted to put the majority of my time into, but at the same time, I've always been like very busy, like I need to be doing multiple things at once or else I get bored. My parents had always been pushing me. They were like, you need to join an acapella group. And part of me was like, eh, like, I don't know if I have time. Ah, da, da, ah. She didn't audition until the, the spring semester because she just, she had no idea what to expect coming in as a, an athlete and at a new school. I, I made a friend through Holly, actually. Her name's Lily Call. When I met her, I realized that she was in an acapella group and she like, 
specifically seeked me out and helped me get into it. And I remember her going to the audition and being like, oh my gosh, I did terrible. I'm not, they're not gonna pick me, I'm not gonna make it. Um, and then she got a call back and she was so excited. And like Holly was like, you're fine. Like, how are you not gonna make it? She was like, I don't know. There's all these other girls and everybody's really good. And I think the best thing about it is like, not only do I get to go and hang out with a group of girls who are like really passionate about music like I am, but like having another group that I can go and hang out with like when I need an escape from soccer has been really great. It's nice for her to see what other people are doing at Duke and that there's sort of a life in addition to soccer. And I'm like super proud of all the music and stuff that we've produced. I was super excited when it went out. Not just because they had a solo song on there, but also because it was like, we did all this work with this music and we finally get to like show it to the world. And like just having music on Spotify and Apple Music is really cool. I mean, we we're so excited for them. I mean, that's kind of fun that anybody could just look on Apple Music. And if, you know, they are searching for a particular song, they might see Lady Blue's version of it and take a listen. And you know, that's, that's a pretty big deal. And you're so tired of missing me And all I want is what you need But coming back to earth The truth is I'm not running yet hurts I listened to that song so many times over quarantine A bunch of my teammates promoted it My, my dad obviously like posted stuff on Facebook But it was fun to like see that people were listening to it But if we try it again now we're, I mean, super proud of her, you know, as, as she's really grown in it. Now you can tell she feels comfortable and she's confident uh, when she's singing. And I think she likes to share that. I do love performing in front of my peers, especially other athletes, because it's, it's something outside of athletics that I can show to them. So I love singing the National Anthem at our games because I feel very, like, just loved by everybody after I finish. While I'm here, while I still have an opportunity to perform in front of people, I want to do it as much as I can. So